Hello, hello. The classic X-Men the Animated series insisted that the mutants are humans with extraordinary powers. This was important as the series wanted to emphasize the parallels that can be drawn to real-world discrimination based either on race or sexual orientation. X-Men 97 changes this. It instead explores two distinct lines of evolution. The first and most obvious is the transition from humans to mutants. This comes up often enough in the X-Men franchise. But where does this line lead? The logical conclusion is that something will eventually evolve from mutants, rendering them outdated. The trouble with this has been that it weakens the allegory that makes X-Men so popular. That is why the original series avoided it as far as possible. The second line of evolution, the progression from organic to techno-organic beings, introduces the concept of beings that are a fusion of biological and technological components. The logical conclusion of this is a new form of existence that transcends the limitations of traditional biology. This outcome can potentially be deadly to all pure organic life forms. So why is the show now going in this direction? My guess is that the reason for this is the introduction of Cassandra Nova in MCU. Cassandra Nova, in one sense, is a character who represents an evolution beyond both these lines. She is a powerful and malevolent entity that exists as a pure consciousness, capable of inhabiting and controlling both organic and technical logical forms. As an entity that has evolved beyond the constraints of physical form, Cassandra Nova poses a unique threat to both mutants and techno-organic beings. She represents the next stage of evolution, where consciousness and intelligence are no longer bound by the limitations of biological or technological bodies. While X-Men 97 may not want to include the character herself, but Marvel is using it to seed ideas that it can explore further in MCU. Regardless of whether they do so in the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine, Cassandra Nova could potentially allow MCU to challenge the very notion of what it means to be human, mutant or techno-organic. This narrative approach not only lays a fertile ground for a future big bad to emerge, but also raises thought-provoking questions that can allow for more niche Disney Plus content. Of course, it would only be possible if Deadpool and Wolverine could become the central figures that Iron Man and Captain America once were in. And that can only happen after Doctor Strange's secret Avengers score a box office knockout. So what do you think about these lines of evolution and the potential for Cassandra Nova? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share, high five, subscribe, let our channel thrive.